YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. I'm sitting down here in the basement watching Tron Legacy, and the visuals are amazing. And I'm so thankful they brought the originals back into it. But the original movie was so much better. So we're drinking some beer. We're drinking Mickey's. Mickey's uh, is a malt liquor from the U.S. It is 5.5% alcohol. It's brewed by G.A. Miller. Uh, owned and operated by the Molson Coors Company. One of the few stubbies you can still get in Ontario. Very large mouth hole. Very easy for chugging. Uh, under these caps is riddles that you can go to mickeys.com to find the answers to. They're good little drinking games. Um, no snow out of the box? I, I don't know. Anyway. Let's drink it. I might go to mickeys.com later to find out what that was. So, pale, what you'd expect from your average lager or malt liquor. I mean, most malt liquors that I've had are either this color or a little darker. This one is the, the pale one. About a finger of head. Some carbonation, not much. It doesn't really... It has the dirty smell that a lot of malt liquors have, but it doesn't have that super sugary malt smell. I mean, I get malt, I get the, that dirty smell, and I get like a corn scent. Again, it doesn't smell like, say, Old English or Mongoose or Colt 45 or any of the other malt liquors I've had. It actually smells kind of like a, uh, a cheap lager, basic, basically. Taste. Taste-wise, pretty much the same thing. You're not getting it as much a malt liquor taste as a cheap lager. I mean, I can see I can see the malt liquor because the malt's just a little bit stronger than than you'd expect. It's a little bit cheaper tasting than you would normally expect. But hates your tongue with the maltiness crosses your tongue crisp, goes down your throat with that dry corn chip like taste. So you're sitting there getting the corn chip soaked in soda water taste. So malt, grains, nothing really else. Uh, no hops really on the flavor. Uh, pretty dry on the finish. The aftertaste is almost non-existent other than that just pasty corn chip taste in the back of your throat. It's not a bad beer. I actually like to have these around when I'm doing par when I'm partying. Um, I'm an older guy now. I have a baby. I don't really party like I used to, but I used to chug down the whole 12 pack before I really started drinking. So these have always been something I've had around. Never been something that I'm hugely excited to get, but I like them. As I said, for a malt liquor, it's awesome. As a beer itself, not so awesome. Uh, I'd probably give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Again, I like to have them for chugging, but other than that, they're not really a sit around and sipping beer. They're not bad, they're not good. As a malt liquor, they're excellent though. Give yourselves a very good day. Good beer drinking to you all. Bye bye. Going back to my Tron Legacy. Afterwards, I might watch some Alien versus uh, Aliens versus Ninjas. Bye, guys.